It really bothers me how much I love the Xavier Tillman trade for the Boston Celtics. Now on the surface, Xavier Tillman doesn't look like a player worth getting so excited about. He's only averaging six points on the season on barely 40% shooting. He's shooting only 22% from three, so it's not like he can even space the floor for the Celtics, which is such an important part of their offense. But you go a bit deeper and you realize that this dude is not, he's not necessarily a great defender, but he's a rugged defender. He is 6'8", 245 pounds. He is not afraid to get down and dirty, play really physical. He could switch over a couple of positions. He's one of 14 players averaging over a steal and a block a game. And he's the only guy doing it in under 25 minutes at night. Having a guy who could soak up minutes in the front court is of particular importance to the Celtics, considering that the front court duo of Al Horford and Chris Epps Porzingis has a pretty high risk of injury. When they traded Robert Williams, one of the reasons I was really concerned about that was because it sort of gets rid of their insurance if a Porzingis or a Horford were to go down. But now you bring in Xavier Tillman and that sort of lessens that concern. What's also great about Tillman is that he's played in 18 playoff games for Memphis, so he's not necessarily going to be you know, overwhelmed by the bright lights that Boston is obviously going to be under come playoff time. And I saw a great point made on Twitter by, I think it was Adam Taylor. You should go check him out. He does a lot of great Celtics work where he mentioned how, you know, in terms of making moves at the deadline for Boston, it's not just about adding players, about adding depth, but it's about adding you know, different dimensions that you don't already have on the roster. And Tillman fits that bill. You look at Porzingis and Horford, they're more perimeter-based big men, whereas Tillman, I think, can be a bit more inside, can be a bit more physical, and I think that's gonna come in handy when you face, a, I guess, in theory, a healthy Sixers team with Joel Embiid, or even the Knicks, given their size. I gotta give Brad Stevens credit, because when you're a team like the Celtics, and you're already one of the best teams in the league, and you have all of your core pieces, Getting better doesn't necessarily mean rocking the boat, making a blockbuster trade. It usually means tweaking things, smoothing out the edges, just adding little bits on the margins. And I think this move does exactly that in a way that addresses so much of what they need or could use. It addresses a lot of the concerns you might have about this team come playoff time when it comes to you know front court depth and physicality they address that and to be able to only do it for two second round picks is insanely impressive and that's why I really love this deal for the Celtics and think it's going to work out so well for them.